off of. I just remember that. All right, everybody, welcome back to the. Why did they mess with our audio settings? We are back here at the 2015 Northwest Regional Championships. We got an exciting 4-0 matchup for you guys right now between Star Metroid and Emerald Dragon. Uh, that's Max D versus Let. Off screen, Let going to be running a very impressive, most looks like a Trick Room team, but I'm not exactly sure. Scrafty, Mistrevis, Heatran, Metagross, Thunderous Incarnate, and Landris Therian. Max on top going to be running Salamence, Aegislash, Ludicolo, Politoed, Thunderous Incarnate, and Terrakion. So first things first, let's let's talk about the white elephant in the room. Mistrevious. Mistrevious. That R. Uh, so it is Levitate. Uh, it's a ghost. Uh, I, I've seen some gimmicks built off of it before. I don't know exactly what... By uh, gimmick, do you mean... Good strategies. Uh, well... You no, know, clever, interesting things. Um, you know, they get named that gimmick, but it's kind of a, a misnomer because they are just interesting things What about that one time Human got second place at Nationals with it? Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, with the Eevee Light, it actually becomes a pretty bulky Pokemon. It can sit there, Trick Room, Pain Split, Will-O-Wisp, all sorts of cool shenanigans, really. Um, yeah, dude, he got second place at Nationals with it. Yeah. Good for him. I don't think you were there at Nationals, that's why. Yeah, that was the Nationals I missed. Uh, looking at Max's team, uh, he is a Vancouverite, I believe. He's from uh, Canada. And, you know, again, we see the, the common rain. polytoed Louis Cole. I think it's a common thing up three, here. Three straight rounds we've seen rain. Yeah, uh, coming from California, that's... You know, you, you, I miss you jealous? I miss, I miss yeah. it. I miss it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> if you all started using Polytoad in your PCs, maybe uh, you wouldn't have this problem. Yeah, we have a big you Charizard problem. We, we have a big Charizard problem out in, out in California right now, actually. Uh, all right, so we're going to go into the game right now. Star Metroid going to go ahead and lead Thunderous and Aegislash as uh, Emerald Dragon going to go straight with Mistrevis and Heatran. So it, as bulky as Mistrevis may be, it doesn't want to take a Shadow Ball here. But, of course, Heatran's right there to protect it. So uh, we'll see how Max tries to handle that uh, that Aegislash if he tries to pre uh, threaten that uh, Mischievous or if he runs away from the Heatran. Uh, both are pretty valid things to do. Uh, Thunderous, meanwhile, uh, it's not in a great or bad position. Fire off Thunderbolts, taunt may be useful against Mischievous. So. Oh yeah, absolutely. It definitely will be. Um, one of the cool things about Aegislash, I think the way it's going to work, it's going to be slower than Heatran, so we'll probably be able to take a Heat Wave in shield form and then fire off a shadow ball and then you know right and especially with this rain it <clears> does not <throat> have to switch out of this position at all right i would have preferred to see a ton on mischievous uh, i know mischievous is personally you know it's it's more of a support pokemon really most likely holding that eevee light we see that wow don't do that is much that damage a, to that age slash is that a at all that's a okay that makes hit, more too. sense as mischievous gonna go straight for the sunny day okay uh, wow, and, and that taunt would have been much better because now you've got Politone in in the sun. You're going to have to switch twice to get the rain back. Aegislash is going to have to switch two because it can't afford to stay in, in the sun at all. Uh, or unless you just shield and try to come back in in the rain, switch two turns in a row. And Aegislash goes for the Shadow Ball. That does not pick up the knockout. We see how bulky Mischievous is with that Eevee Light from a Life Orb Aegislash of all things. Impressive. So that is massive amount of damage that did not, you know, uh, happen. And one of the things that, that just happened is that Mischievous will move before Aegislash. Mischievous gets pain split. It can easily pain split back to get back some health. Age of Slash right now, of course, it's going to be threatened to either be knocked out or it's going to be forced to use a turn to King Shield. Yeah, and Politoed's going to have to run away. Uh, you know, Max is in a bad spot, but he also got some crucial damage on Mischievous. Uh, he could easily reset the rain soon and, and escape this. Politoed doesn't leave. Uh, go straight for the It must be Scarfed. No, not, not necessarily Scarfed, but it's likely Scarfed. Uh, gets the easy knockout on Mischievous. Uh, doesn't have to worry about Sun again. Um, he even goes for the solar beam. Ooh, oh. interesting choice. Uh, not a move that we see too common on Heatran. That manual but it does sun hit Politoed for a good amount of damage. Picks up the knockout, even oh, wow. so. Wow. So so rain isn't coming back. Uh, you know, Max took the risk there, left Politoed in. Didn't expect anything from Heatran. Was going to be able to KO uh, Politoed. Me. Wasn't expecting the solar beam. I mean, to be fair, I wouldn't either. Politoed's pretty safe against Heatran. Right. That was a good way to get a little bit of damage on Heatran. Get a knockout on. Uh, mischievous get Ludicolo in easily. You know, that'd be Heatwave. Ludicolo would have taken a bunch of damage, but it's probably Assault Vest. It would have it would have survived that. And then later gone on to get Politoed out and start resetting Rain. Uh, but it didn't work out at all because of that Solar Beam. So now it's going to be a couple more turns of Sun for 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 uh, Emerald Dragon. Um, that swings this. Normally Ludicolo Heatran is totally Ludicolo's favor. Even with no weather, uh, the Assault Vest makes heat, those heat waves not do that much and uh, makes... Uh, uh, 
and Scald will do well in the rain. It's obviously in totally in Ludico's favor, but in the sun, this actually swings back into Heatran's favor, I think. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, the Scald is going to be weakened by the... I, I assume the, this, this Ludico has Scald, but the Scald won't be doing too much damage to that Heatran. Uh, did we see ever see the item on Heatran? I don't think we have revealed the item yet. Uh, so here, uh, it's there's a couple options for what... You know, a, a Heat Wave plus something from Landorus will get a knockout in either spot. A U-Turn on Ludicolo will get a knockout. A Rock Slide will get a knockout. But there's also the Fake Out option still. Uh, Ludicolo, this is its first turn on the field. Uh, can Fake Out one of those and ruin that plan to get a knockout somewhere. But uh, I guess that's what I would expect to see. Because you can't really allow Heatran too many sun-boosted Heat Waves. So they're going to hurt. And Absolutely. And, of course, the Burn Chance is also a big thing to look out for. Because that's going to slowly chip away at your team. Uh, this Heat Ran is in a good position right now. And... If and you think about what's happened, Aegislash is on the brink of getting knocked out, right? Right, uh, and it can't, I mean... Polytoad's already gone. Yeah, and, and so if you do get a knockout here, it forces uh, Aegislash in to deal with those heat waves sooner. Right, and Landers does get swaggered, but Landers flinches and cannot move. Here I'm going to go ahead and go for the heat wave. How much damage is this going to do? A lot. I'm really surprised Max didn't try to target that heat train at all. Uh, he had the option, opportunity to do something about it. It's a huge, imposing threat, and he double-targeted... Uh, Landorus and took a big heat wave that did more than half to Thunderous and almost half to Ludicolo. And not really any... And swaggering physical Mons. I mean, now that Rock Slide might be a double KO. I don't know. It probably doesn't get the KO on Ludicolo, it's, but does get it on Thunderous. I it's not like he really bettered himself in any position. I mean, odds are this... Okay, well, this, if there's a swagger, there's a way. Um, let's see if Ellie can get around being able to do this or getting hit... hit Hitting himself in confusion, Landris is going to go straight for the U-turn. That's going to be a knockout. It's going to get the KO on Ludicolo and get out of the swagger. Uh, great use of the plus two to make sure and get that KO, but then don't don't take too many chances. Uh, if, you you if, got this game pretty if close. If Heatran moves, game. it's over. Oh, in it, my absolutely. Opinion. That's a cl clear knockout on Thunderous if Heatran moves. Um, Those are the ones that go to and then it's going to be Aegis Slash versus Heatran and Landris. Obviously, that's that's a game. Even if it doesn't move, it's going to be really hard. Uh, I don't think we've seen. Megas from either side. No. Nope. That's interesting. Uh, Not even an attempt. Neither player brought a Pokemon that can Mega Evolve. Right. I mean, I think Max's Mega was Mawile? Was that it? I don't remember. I forgot already. I was very distracted by the Mischievous. I was really <laughs> excited to see it. That's and right. it, it kind of won this game with that sunny day. Right. Um, the Heat Wave right now going to... Heat Wave will be a double knockout, I think. I, don't, I think Thunders might hang on, but... That doesn't mean too much because the next turn, well, and, and Thunderous can hit anything it or something from like that. Uh, Ellie's Thunderous will make it into a knockout. So. Right, and Thunderous going to go for the Thunder Wave right now. The gonna try to, yeah, that's his only out right now. Really, can't knock it. He trained out fast enough. You might as well just try to keep it from attacking. Thunderous going to go for the Hidden Power Ice. Going to target down that Thunderous. Not going to be able to pick up the knockout. Is Heatran going to be able to move through the paralysis and confusion? This is a huge turn. This is the game turn. That's goes game. to the Heat Wave, but he oh, to dodge. It. So there's still a chance. I mean, Thunder Wave or Thunderous. From Max's side, could swagger Ellie's Thunderous and hope for confusion There's going to be a lot of swaggers between here and the game being over. I mean, you see how hard it is to get that that two hits from Heat Wave, both through or through confusion, through paralysis, and then you have to get both 90% accurate hits. Uh, a lot had to go right there, and, you know, it mostly did. I'm, Ellie's going to be happy with getting one of the two knockouts because it'll take a lot of it, bad swagger. It puts him now. in pretty much clinching position as... Uh, the swagger from Max's Thunders does go out onto Ellie's Thunders. Thunders Confused does go straight for the Hidden Power, and that is going to be able to pick up the knockout as Ellie is going to move on to 5-0 and versus Max. The Just Max a, is a dominant performance. It, it was the two big turns. It was reversing the rain into sun and then solar beaming the Politoed to make that sun last, and that was really what decided the game.